and welcome to the latest unboxing video by theplayersaid.com. Today we're looking at Zulus on the Ramparts, which is the Battle of Rock's Drift. If you've ever watched the movie Zulu with Michael Caine, that's what this game is. And this is the second edition. Um, there was a first edition um, where they came out with this new and it's deluxe. It's got some nice pieces in it. So it's by um, a designer called Joseph Miranda. So let's crack this open. This is a, it's a sm small box, but it's got a lot of weight to it. So I'm going to slide the cover off, and this is one of Victory Games' red boxes of fun. And it opens just like a pizza. So let's crack this open. Very distinctive packaging by this company. Okay. So, <laughs> just looking at this, it is chock full. So we have, first, the rule book, And this is a very, very surprisingly thick rule book. Ooh. So this is 36 pages, which can seem intimidating for a solitaire only game, but the reality of it is, I think, let's see, there's only really like 16 pages of rules. These are, these are the base rules here. And this is a semi-gloss paper, it's a very thick paper, and there's just a, a, a billion different examples and colors. So this one's going to be probably relatively easy to learn. The rest of this, optional rules, historical notes, designer notes, just extra stuff about how the game was produced. And I love that kind of thing. Just helps me get to know the designers of the game a little bit better and what they intended for the game. And I like that aspect. So we have a bag of smaller size yellow dice. Couple of baggies here. We have the action cards. These are event cards. Let's open these up. So they got great artwork on the back of them, which was the same as the box art on the front. And we'll just kind of fan these out here. And these are events that are going to dictate kind of what happens, how well things roll as well as, you know, uh, unique different events and things which are going to occur. We'll be drawing those throughout the game turns. Uh, once again, there's some advertising of some of the other games that they have here. And then we have, okay, let's pull this guy out. So here we have, so this is the board, and this is a, a card stock mat, which is very thick, but I am understanding correctly, okay. The point of the second edition is that they have a, a mounted, this is like a, a laser cut board that's in four pieces, four little jigsaw pieces, and it's exactly the same as the other one, so I'm just going to put this together for you real quick. Those, those slot in very, 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 very easily. There's a tiny little bit of wiggle room, as you'll find if you've ever had anything kind of done on can can okay so we're gonna try we keep those together again exactly the same as this it's just mounted so you don't have to have um, a piece of plexiglass or it's not gonna slide around on the table nearly as much so that's very nice I actually really like that and you can smell that, that how this was produced you can smell the the, the lasers and the, the cutters burn the the board stock and if you can see, so this is this is the counter sheet, and there's a lot of counters, and they yeah, some of them are quite small, which is neat. I'm gonna try and get a focus on the edge of this now. It's almost too small; my camera can't pick it up. But this is t it's two boards that have been pressed together and cut, so these have a very good thickness to them. I'm just gonna pop a couple of these out, come out really easily. These are beautiful, beautiful, full color counters. I'm just like, just this is a fantastic. I'm gonna try and pop this one out here. Just look at the quality of this cat. Like the artwork is just Im impeccable on these. What are you know quite small counters? I'm gonna pop out this little one because some of these are. Um, these Zulu leaders are little standees. 
and you have a little punchable bit in the middle, and we'll just punch that out here real quick, see if I can't get that down. That's a little bit fiddly, so I'm gonna pull out my knife here and just pop that out in the middle. Oop. And you just kind of stick them on here, like you would any other standy. Yeah. And this is a little bit tight. Whoa. Okay. I'll play around with that later, but you get a little standy out of it, which is nice. Just that's just an, a great touch, so those those can stand on the board and give us some more effects. And at the bottom of the box, we have a little silica gel packet. And we also have the little wipes a lot, and you're going to use this to kind of clean off the counters. I don't know if you can see. My fingers have a little bit of dirt residue, and it's the soot from the way that the counters are cut. It scorches the edges, so you have to just kind of like, just wipe them down and clean them off sometimes. Some of it's not bad, but they include this, which is a little courtesy, which I like there, and that's just the way that the counters are produced. So this is a, once again, solitaire only game. Used to watch Zulu with my dad as a kid, and I'm excited to play this one, because I love solitaire games and it's a smaller one so and the rules are simple enough but there's still a lot of decision making to be done so i'll be playing this one and watch out for a review coming soon <laughs>